Ide TV KPM. Yeah, sure. Okay, now we are going to focus on the topic walking the Amazon. For viewers at home, you can um, find the article in page 68 of Full Blast Plus 4. Okay, we, as we could see, there's an article over there. So I would like the help of our friends to read it out loud for us. Okay, who would like to go first? I'd like to go first. Okay, sure, Adriana. So, when British explorer Ed Stafford announced that he wanted to become the first person to walk the 4,000 mile length of the Amazon from source to sea, pe most people say that he could not do it. They say there was no way any human could survive such a long and dangerous journey. This made Stafford even more determined to prove them wrong. Okay, thank you, Adriana. The next one. In April 2008, Stafford set off with another tracker who returned home after three months. Stafford continued and was joined by a Peruvian forester, Cho, who stayed with him until the end. Stafford had estimated that it would take him a year to complete the journey. However, by the time he reached the Atlantic Ocean on the other side of the continent, he had been walking continuously for 860 days. Throughout the expedition, he had to carry 40 kilos on his back which required a lot of strength. A lot of this week was batteries for his satellite video phone and laptop, which he used to write a blog of his experiences. Okay, thank you, Aisha. Now we have the next paragraph. Along the way, Stafford faced many dangers and challenges. He and Cho often had to cross swamps and rivers with only small inflatable rafts. They came across giant poisonous snakes electric eels, jaguars, crocodiles, monkeys, and many dangerous insects. They were continuously attacked by mosquitoes, and Stafford was stung twice by scorpions during the journey. A fly buried itself into his head, and, and he also suffered a tropical skin disease. Sometimes they were forced to, f to survive by eating whatever they could hunt or find. Their diet consisted of plants, piranha fish, wildcats, and even tortoises. Okay, thank you, Adriana. For the next one. Some of the dangers they faced were from humans. The maps they used were often unreliable, and on several occasions, they arrived at areas to get supplies and found that logging companies had completely cleared them away. There were problems with the native people too. Several isolated communities living in the jungle saw Stafford and Cho as a threat and chased them with knives and guns. On one occasion, they avoided an attack by agreeing to pay the community chief to be their guide. And then the next one. Many people found it difficult to understand why Stafford wanted to put his life in danger. He explained that no one had achieved anything like it before. That was a good enough reason for doing it. Moreover, he hoped his expedition would make people more aware of the destruction of the rainforest. Sometimes wanting to be a record breaker and the need for adventure can push people to incredible achievements. If that can also help a good cause, it makes it even more remarkable. Okay, thank you, Adriana. So we've heard our friends read the article out loud. So first we have read the article and for the next activity, we are going to look at each paragraph. So when we look at each paragraph, we are going to try and identify the main idea. Okay? So this is paragraph one. What do you think is the main idea? Anyone would like to try? I think mm -hmm. the first paragraph tells that there's a British explorer named Ed Stafford that wanted to walk the Amazon, even though people say that he could never do it. Aha. Uh -huh. So let's have a look at the answer. Yep, it centers on Ed Stafford wanting to walk the Amazon. Thank you, Adriana. That's a good job. Well done. Okay, for the next one, the next paragraph. Anyone? Uh, I would like to answer. Mm -hmm. um, I think this paragraph talks about how Ed Stafford faced the difficulties at the start of his journey and how the walk takes longer time than what he expected. Okay, so yes, that's the answer. So he began to face 
difficulties and he also had someone going with him okay so the difficulties like what Aisha has mentioned about it took longer than the estimated time and also he had to carry something really heavy on his back okay so thank you Aisha next one would be this anyone would like to try for the third paragraph I believe that Stafford and Joe went through many challenges and dangers, especially from animals and insects. Aha, uh -huh. animals. Yes, that's the main idea. This paragraph highlights the challenges that he faced and mostly from animals. So if you could see in the text, there's animals such as eels, jaguars, crocodiles, monkeys. So all of them are quite dangerous. Okay, thank you. Next one. Anyone would like to try? Well, for me, okay. uh, I would like to try. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, this paragraph clearly tells about challenges that as the need to face not just from animals but also from humans. Such as example, the logging companies clear all the supplies and native people saw them as a threat. Okay, so it's challenges as well, but the focus now is on humans. So before it was animals, now it's humans. They were even chased with knives and guns. Okay, and we've got the final paragraph, if anyone would like to try. For the final paragraph, I'd say that it tells that Stafford explained his reasons um, for walking the Amazon and his hopes for his expedition to make a good cause. Aha, uh -huh. so let's have a look. Yeah, the reasons why Ed went on the expedition and among those highlighted would be um, more aware of the destruction of the rainforest and then there's nobody who had achieved anything like that before and also it's for a good cause, it helps a good cause. So yeah, that's the main idea. So thank you for your answer. Okay, so for... Um, our identifying the main idea activity since both of you did a very excellent job i would give it a five over five. Oh wow well done five over five to our pupils online right here yeah because yeah. they managed to answer and they managed to identify what's going on in each paragraph good job very analytical very analytical okay so now for viewers at home it's time for us to do activity b so for activity B, you can find this in our book, page 68. Okay, first we have read the paragraphs in which we uh, read the text quickly, we've done that. And then for the second, in order for us to find the best title, we have identified the main idea for each paragraph. So when we have identified the main ideas for each paragraph, it would make and it would lead us to choose the best title. Okay, so first we have the option A, exploring the Amazon at Stafford's amazing journey across the Amazon River. B, Amazon adventure. One man tries to save the rainforest. And C, walking the Amazon, the incredible story of at Stafford. Okay, so girls, which one would you choose? Would it be A? Would it be B or would it be C? If you could just put up your answers. Hmm. So both selected C. So both of you selected C. So now let's have a look. Okay, so this is definitely the title. Walking the Amazon, the incredible story of Ed Stafford. Now could anybody tell me why is this the title? I think that C is the title because in the first paragraph, mm -hmm. it is stated that he wanted to become the first person to walk the Amazon. Mm -hmm. Okay, the first person to walk the Amazon. And what about you, Aisha? For me, this answer is C because in the second paragraph, it's, uh, uh, there's mention that he had been walking continuously for 860 days. It means that he is walking, not jumping, running or crawling. So I answer C. I see. It's not. It's definitely walking. He's not crawling. He's not jumping. 
a very good reasoning. Okay, now let's look at the reason why we come to choose C as the answer. The most obvious one, it's because yes, Ed Stafford wanted to walk the Amazon. Okay, there's lots of evidence that you can find in the text. So again, viewers at home, as we are reviewing why we choose C as the answer, you can refer to the text in page 68. Okay, first, um, this is the first um, clue that we get as being given by both Aisha and Adriana. He wanted to become the first person to walk the 4,000 mile length of the Amazon from source to sea. You could find this in paragraph 1. Okay, it stated the main reason of why Ed Stafford wants to walk the Amazon. And then, second, there's another clue which we can find in paragraph 2. He had been walking continuously for 860 days. So like what Aisha said, it's walking and walking and walking. Even more so, it is more than the time that he had estimated. Okay? Next one, the clue would be in this sentence or this phrase, Stafford faced many dangers and challenges. So we look at the title, The Incredible Story of Ed Stafford. This one would actually lead to the incredible part of the story. So despite many dangers, despite many challenges, he still went on the walk. Okay. So again, viewers at home, this next clue, we can find it in paragraph 3. Next one. We have the words or the phrase, Several isolated communities living in the jungle saw Stafford and Cho as a threat and chased them with knives and guns. So this also points to it being incredible. Despite facing dangers, despite having people chasing you with knives and guns, he still went on the journey. That is true, that is true, Teacher mm -hmm. And I believe both our pupils online have selected the best title for this story. Would you like to give them scores or marks here, Teacher Liana? Okay, since um, this is quite a huge task, meaning they have to think of the reasons and they were the ones who gave me these phrases. I think both of them deserve a 10 over 10. A 10 mm -hmm. over 10, that's perfect marks for the both of you. Yes, you can clap for yourself. And Teacher Liana, I have a question for you. Yes, yeah, sure. Looking at all these challenges that Ed Stafford went through when he was walking mm -hmm. the Amazon, would you walk the Amazon? Um, <laughs> I think, yeah, I would like to give it a try. Because there aren't that many people in the world who could proudly say I've walked the Amazon. Did it TV KPM